Making sure that each foot is taken care of properly is really important. My name is Matt Thompson. I'm an elephant zoologist here at your Dallas Zoo. So elephant footwork is really important. We maintain the tread of the pad. The pad is continuously growing, so we need to stay on top of that. So this is our foot fort, and where the trainer and the tech can both safely work around the elephant. Today we are looking at Kamba's feet. She is our 42-year-old female. So what we always do first is we rinse off the foot. That allows the tech to be able to get a better view of the foot. If there's any rocks or anything in there, they're able to see it a lot better. Amy's giving the foot a quick rub down. Um, sometimes dirt can be really thick on the foot. If the dirt is really thick, you can't see what's underneath it. When you're doing footwork, you always want to look for flaps and you want to look for tread on the pad itself. But first and foremost, you always want to start with the nails. You want to raise it up to where the elephants are not walking directly on their nails. That can be really uncomfortable and cause a lot of pressure. When an elephant walks, their weight radiates from the center part of their pad out through their nails. So what Amy is using now is what we call a rasp. It files the nail down and makes it smooth, um, which is, just makes it a nice rounded nail. Rocks can get stuck in the pad itself, which can lead to pretty nasty infections if not taken care of properly. Their pads are constantly growing, so they constantly need that help and support. Um, since they live such long lifespans, they live into their late 50s and early 60s, they're constantly on their feet. So the importance of taking care of those feet is a big significance to their quality of health. Um, because if a pad is overgrown or if too much pad is taken off, that can affect their weight as they walk. We try to check all the elephant's feet at least once a week and try to do footwork on them. Whenever we have a chance to get any of the elephant's feet up, we do so to be able to make notes for the other keepers that are working that week so they know what feet to focus on and what elephants to focus on. We're trained here to monitor how much of the pad we're taking off at a time. Um, if the pad doesn't need to come off, we don't take it off. We only take off what is necessary. Each elephant is different in the sense of they put pressure on each of their pads differently. So when you have an elephant's foot in front of you, you can see how they walk based on whether the pad is worn down on one side more than the other. So just making sure that they're not impacted is really important.